Hello YouTube. Um, I promised uh, I was going to make this video and this is going to be a really difficult video to make but I'm fairly certain that Austin would want me to make this video. Um, he always was about bringing life into the party. Um, his smile and his laugh were infectious and he really made people better so I'm hoping that by making this video that I can help people and help make them better as well. Um, for those that don't know, uh, April 27th of 2020, my son Austin died from complications of his cerebral palsy. Uh, they suspect he had a seizure and just that was pretty much the end of it. Um, that day I remember his mom calling me and my wife and I dropping everything and going up there. Um, going up to the hospital during COVID um, you know I didn't even know if they were gonna let me in and um, we got up there they gave me a sticker that you know they asked who we were and I told them my son Austin had been found unresponsive and they let us in there put a sticker that said ER on me and my wife and I went in there and we got in there and they had told us that my son had died and I just at that moment I just couldn't even function I didn't know you know like it wasn't real it, you know and some days you know it still feels that way but you know in the end it was real and it did happen uh, I remember right after I was going through all of the emotions you know circling the drain as they call it you know do I want to live you know how can I live without my son I mean you know I may not have always been the best at showing it but Austin was really my life um, there was no one I placed above him and you know even now no one I ever would uh, I guess I'll start out by saying don't expect to get over it and don't expect it to go back to normal those things don't happen um, that's for Hallmark television and you know the unrealistic things you watch on TV um, when you lose a child, you feel a piece of your body, like your soul. It just goes missing. It's gone. Like a piece of you is just gone. And, you know, you think at first, you know, if I'm angry enough, if I, you know, if I pretend that it's not real, that's going to come back. But it really doesn't. Um, I'm not saying this to, to depress you more if you're going through the same thing as, you know, if anyone's watching this, there's a good chance that you're going through that right now and you're trying to figure out what's next or how do you survive it. Um, you do survive it. You do. So, you know, that that's the good in it. You do survive it. Um, you're stronger than you think you are at that moment. You know, I never thought that I'd be sitting here doing this video out in the woods, this you know, a year later. Um, and I ain't gonna lie, this is really difficult to do, so I'm stumbling over words and things like that, but I know that this is important, so we're gonna get through it. You start out really angry. You start out wanting to die. Um, a lot of times you seriously think about it. Um, you always wonder why him, not why not me. Um, you punish yourself because you're still here and they're not. And and that's fairly common. That's, you know, I'm pretty sure that everyone's going to go through that. Thinking it's not fair. It wasn't his time or it wasn't her time. Um, it wasn't their time. But we don't get to choose that. Um, the only thing that we can do is honor their memory and, and move on. Um, one thing that I decided, you know, that I thought about when... It was happening I was beginning the process of kind of turning the corner I guess so to speak you know you can either let something that happens to you define you and defeat you or you can use it to define you and fuel you uh, I chose the latter I fought back every day I fought back against all the bad feelings I was having all the anger all the sadness all the emptiness and slowly, day by day, you know, up until a year and a half later where we are right now, having this video, 
I'm not gonna say I healed, cause I, I don't think you heal from this. But I started to realize that there's a new normal. And that new normal is okay. It's okay to miss your child. It's okay to think about them every day. It's okay to be sad that they're not here. Um, it's okay to be pissed off. You're going to be. I don't think that ever goes away. But at the same time, you know, how would they want you to live? Would they want you to live every day just circling the drain? Or do they want you to go on? Do they want you to move forward? And do they want you to be a person in the world and try to make the world a better place like they did? So, you know, that's what I'm doing. That's why I'm doing this video. I hope that, you know, anyone that's out there right now that's feeling that anger, circling that drain, feeling that pain... They know that I'm here a year a year and a half later and I survived it. I'm not stronger because of it. Well, maybe in some ways I am. But I get up every morning and I do my best every day because that's what my son would have done. That's what he did do every day. He fought through surgeries. He fought through not being able to walk. He fought through not being able to talk. And he made himself his best life possible. And at the end of the day, that's what I'm going to do too. So if you're having, if, well, it doesn't even have to be a child, really. It could be a parent or someone you're close to. If you're having those feelings of, of loss right now, know that you don't have to, you don't replace what you lost. But you live with the loss and you can live with the loss. It will get better. It may seem like it'll never be better. But it does. Eventually you stop punishing yourself. For being alive when they're not. Eventually you stop punishing yourself. For those moments where you actually feel happy. And feel guilty that you are. You don't have to feel those things. They wouldn't want you to feel those things. And eventually you'll stop feeling those things. Eventually you'll be able to laugh again. You'll be able to smile. So that is my best advice on losing a child. Um, if anyone is suffering a loss and they want to talk directly with me, um, I'll be sure to connect with you some way. Um, I don't know, leave a comment in the video or... Uh, send me a message on Twitter however however you want to get a hold of me and I will be happy to talk with you and talk out what you're feeling what you're going through and help as best I can because I can't save my son I can't save anyone's child that have lost but what I can do is I can help you I can help anyone by talking about what I went through and hope that with that information, with that help, it will bring some peace to you. Alright, thank you everyone for watching. And we'll see you again real soon.